Before the jury comes in, I want to address the gallery. The parties have agreed to the admission of Exhibit 428. It is an audio recording. That audio recording will be played for the jury this afternoon. It does contain some very sensitive, sexually explicit matters. It is important that those of you in the gallery have no reaction whatsoever to anything that is played for this jury. If you believe that the materials on this particular audio recording are such that you would prefer not to be present, I'm going to ask that you leave the courtroom now. The prosecutor has advised me that he has met with the family of the victim, that the family of the victim has had an opportunity to listen to the audio recording. It is their desire that the audio recording be played in open court and they wish to be present. If any member of the family of the victim has a different position, please raise your hand now and let me know. I see no hands. Ms. Arias, please come forward and take the stand. Please bring in the jury. Please be seated. The record will show the presence of the jury, the defendant, and all counsel. Ms. Arias, you are still under oath. Do you understand? Yes. Mr. Nermi, you may continue with your examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, in conjunction with that, before we begin questioning Ms. Arias, in pursuant to the stipulations previously made, uh, we are asking to publish what's been marked as, well, that's what, what's been entered, excuse me, as exhibit 428. Yeah, me too. 
and then the end is all of it too. Mm-hmm. Let's see, for me, I might make a trip at the end of the month to Utah. But I don't know, I'm uh, in Daniel Summit, so it's like, I don't know if I'll do that. I want to. How did you go to Utah? Just to visit and see the sites and see my friends and all that. Why would you go and if you're going to Daniel Summit? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just right around the corner, so I may not. I may just Daniel Summit. But I don't know. We'll see. Like, go to Daniel who? Summit. You know him well. You've, been, you've met him more times than I have. <laughs> You're funny. So, but yeah, June, you're going to what, Cancun, and you're coming here. But, let's see. What are you doing? Uh, Washington, D.C. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. To, well, if I can afford it, I'd like to go to Washington, D.C., but I think that's out. What I'd like to do, though, is I'm going to travel around with you, and um, if I have the money, I'm going to go to the Team Freedom event, which is in June, and I've got places to stay in Palm Desert. That's easy. No money there. Here's the problem I have with the Team Freedom event. It's in Palm Springs, right? Okay, you know, in the summer. They're really dumb for yeah. <laughs> the summer. Yeah, which is like a horrible place in the summer. Yeah. Number, Number two, their idea of social time is to get drunk. Uh, so their no. fun is get drunk. Not everybody. The training would be awesome. I don't like those people. I respect them as business people, but that is about it. Really? They just don't have a soul. <laughs> Are you serious? They're godless. Just, like, look into their eyes. It's, like, dark. What about people like Tara and Mark Smith? Okay, Tara's nice, and maybe there's something there. But, like, like I said, I respect them um, for what they've done in their businesses. I like them as business associates. They don't have a soul. <laughs> You're crazy. Look at them all. <laughs> Tell me all something. Oh, I guess I've just gotten to know a few different people a little bit differently, is all. Like, the people you got to know are the worst ones. Oh, Tara Postenbach. I know hey, you Tara don't Postenbach. like... Tara Postenbach. Okay. I know you don't like Abe. Yeah, well, he's soulless. He's, like, the top of the list. <laughs> he's... I wouldn't call him soulless. I would just call him, like, focused. Like, business person. He's not focused on business. Oh, I don't know. If he's focused on business, he'd be a solid ED, for starters. He told me the other day that he hopes you get your ring. He told you the other day? Yeah. How the hell was that come up? Um, because I went to... I went to leave him a comment on his MySpace because I hadn't talked to him in like four months. I was just gonna, he left me one out of the blue after not talking to me for four months saying it said who, what, where or something. And I was gonna say the same thing back just to, just to throw it out there kind of thing. And I went to add the to put add comment. It says you must be this user's friend in order to make comments about them. I was like, what? He's always been my MySpace friend. So I texted him. I said, hey. I said, I've got a bone to pick with you, and he wrote back, what? And I said, you're not on my face friend anymore. And then the phone rang, it was him. He's like, hey, listen, this is why. He's like, I deleted you from my friends because I just didn't want to be any part of your drama, your drama with you and Travis. And I was like, uh, okay. He's like, it's nothing against you. I think you guys are both great people. I just didn't want to be associated with that. And I said, he's like, I hope you can understand. So it has nothing to do with you. I think you're a great girl. I think Travis is an awesome businessman. In fact, I really hope he gets his ring. I think that'd be awesome because that's just more stories that I can tell. And he he just said it in passing. He's like, but I hope you understand. I was like, well, okay. And then he said, See, that what? Is <laughs> what? That's dramatic right there. I know. I thought that's it was too. I thought it was too. He's like, I mean, I see, he, he did bring that up, though. He's like, I don't understand. You know, I see him in the bathroom, and I'm a ghost to him. Like, he doesn't even see, he looks right through me, or he doesn't even see me or say hi to me. 
And he said, and I have no problem with that. If, it, if it's got to be that way, then fine. He's like, I have nothing against him. And that's when he said, in fact, I hope he gets his, he gets his ring. That's what he said. <laughs> it means I intimidated him in the bathroom. He said nothing but nice things about you, but that he didn't want to be a part of my dramas. I was like, okay. He's a ghost to me because what am I supposed to say? Hey, you kissed my girlfriend? Well, let's talk about that. Sweetheart, that was before I was your girlfriend. You're so cute. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, what, is it, what am I supposed to say, you know what I mean? What am I uh-huh. supposed to say? Uh, hey, I just got uh, ripped a new one because some drug chick freaking fell on me, and and now uh, you're drunk and you're freaking trying to hook up with my girlfriend five minutes later. You know? When was Pat? Oklahoma, remember? I was going to go beat him down. Oh, he said something not so nice. He, it was a compliment. It was meant to be a compliment to me, but it was an insult to you, and I should have stuck stuck up for you. I was I was timid, and I was still unlike that. I need to work on that. I need to be yeah, I was so you, you gave me crap over Clancy, and then you didn't stand up for me when you were getting picked up. So, uh, nobody was hanging all over me. No. Er. A, A, not true. Not true. We don't need to go there. Let's not go there. But. Let's not go there then. <laughs> we already said the other night we're never going to go here again. So let's let it go. Okay, back to the team freedom thing. Um, yes. Yeah, so Just I intimidated the bathroom. <laughs> You're funny. I thought I was too, because because I was right next to him. You're- and I did. And I put out like the I'll whip your A vibe if you say one word to me. <laughs> I think you grabbed my ass like right in front of him when we were walking through the casino last to Vegas of 07. We walked by, you're like, and you grabbed my butt and you're like, there was a, and I was like, what? Like, I love it when you grab my butt because it, because it feels nice. <laughs> But you only do it, like, when you're trying to prove a point to somebody else. <laughs> That's not true, but I always do it when I'm trying to prove a point to someone else. That's true. You, you cannot say I don't work that booty. Oh, never mind. You do know how to work the booty. <laughs> Your butt has gotten more attention than any woman on the face of the earth, something like that. <laughs> well, it kind of screams for attention. It sticks out. <laughs> It is the if they had after the planet award, it would win. Aw, I don't know about that. But thank you. No, nah, it would, and um, it, so many categories, it freaking just gets an A plus. <laughs> You're an A plus. For example, I'm not the freaking toss salad type, to be honest. But uh, I would do it. I'd love doing it to you. And you have done it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I freaking, no, I've more than done it. I've freaking done it. You have chomp. Okay. <laughs> You've uh, gone to town. Like it was the only can eat salad bar. <laughs> yeah, I went to town for like 45 minutes one night. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. Just another thing about you, you have the most incredible stamina that I've ever, ever even dreamed of encountering. It's just crazy. Like, you have... Yeah, we've had two and three hour sessions many times. Yeah, yeah. More than that. Well, it's, 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 I think three and a half, like, our tops or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. it's, It's because I pace myself. Yeah, and I think for me it's just because I have that constant renewable energy. Yeah. I, uh, you've got renewable, you can just never stop. I am extracurricular, so, and I'm a giver, so I don't mind recouping while I'm doing what I need to do to you, so. I'm a giver. No, I, I agree. But I don't mind receiving while you're doing the giving. Oh, I'm glad. 
And I like how you can play whatever role you need to play. You know, you, I like the role uh, playing. That's fun. Yeah, you know, if you need to, you know, handle me, you'll handle me. If you need to be handled, you'll be handled. Oh, I know. And I know you love being handled, but, like, if I had to put this one before the other, I like being handled. <laughs> I like being handled. But, yeah, I totally will handle you. Mercy, mercy. <laughs> oh, we got into this quicker than I thought we would. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. Yeah, it's just that way. Yeah. I, uh, I'm really into excited by our little uh, forest uh, adventure. Yeah. Well, is he coming up here before Cancun? Yeah, that's that's my plan. Yeah. Um, what is your itinerary? You're gonna are you gonna do San Francisco, or is that gonna be another time? Oh, I think I'm gonna do all that stuff. Then you'll see me, and we'll go Oregon coast and Crater Lake, Shakespeare. <gasps> if that goes as planned, and then. And then I guess you'll go up to what? See your friends in Washington or something? I'm not going to do all that. So it's probably. You're the, top, you're the top of the list. <laughs> in more ways than one. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, oh, that was funny. <laughs> no, I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> um, okay, so then you, you'll drive back. Yeah. I'm going to. Yeah, you're the top of the list. I, I think that's just too much, like, all that. What I'll do is I'll fly to Seattle and stay with my friends and uh, go to British Columbia on that same trip. Okay. <clears throat> Are you going to be traveling about any time soon? I mean, other than Mexico, of course. Uh, well, D.C. That's not abroad. I mean, international. Oh, no. I might get Argentina in September. I'll probably get Argentina in September, like late September. Oh, cool. What brings you to Argentina? Uh, just Steve Hitz and a bunch of guys are going down there to uh, live, and I might go down there for like a month. Who's going down to live? Steve Hitz and Danny Jones and a few other guys. Oh, they're going to go down there and live? That's crazy. Danny Jones moved to Virginia. Good. He's just a waste of potential, that guy. I so think he's being cool. massive potential, and he just squanders it. He, yeah, he's a freaking law. He, uh, like his picture on Facebook, like, are you the dumbest ass on the face of the earth? I haven't seen it recently. What is it? It's him grabbing his crotch. Oh, yeah. I know. I was like, are you 16 years old? <laughs> Seriously. Like, he makes you wonder, like, are you a church member? <laughs> I mean, I'm all for the, like, the wild streak, but don't broadcast it to the whole world. Yeah, I almost made him put a freaking interesting comment on that picture. <laughs> like what? I almost put, your mission president would be proud. You should! Why don't you? Maybe I should. He hasn't been back for even a year, or barely a year, I think he's been back. You should, Travis. Don't be intimidated by him. You would do that to anybody else. Why would you stop with him? Why would you say I'm intimidated by Danny Joe? I wouldn't. I didn't mean to imply that. I'm just saying, like, like when Victor Ruiz, when his friend apparently got a hold of his helio and posted a bunch of stupid oh, I on bullshit, you blasted him to, the, to Mars. <laughs> you And he's not even a church member to be held accountable. Well, it's because he sent me an email, and I took that as personal insult. Oh, 
I thought he just sent posted a bulletin or something. Uh, maybe he, maybe he did. I blasted Mario for sending me a, maybe I'm getting those stories mixed up. Um, Mario sent like some jokes with the F word in it. Oh yeah, 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 that's what it was. And I ripped him to shreds, and I ripped Victor to shreds. Yeah, so you can put a little mark on okay. it. Don't do it if you don't want to, I'm not trying to pressure you, but I... No, uh, I, mean, I would prefer to probably do it by emailing him rather than posting a comment because, you know, I don't want to like humiliate him. I know, but... Yeah, but then on the other hand, he's already humiliated himself. I haven't. <laughs> True. He's he's begging for comments, basically. He put that picture up for attention. He's a, he's asking for comments. And uh, <laughs> I think you should oblige. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to do it privately, you did it privately with Mario and Victor. So, but nonetheless, you gotta let Kitty post on that. That's funny. Your mission president would be proud. That is funny. <laughs> hey, did you look at yeah, my new profile? Good. That's kind of a rude thing to say, but what? Did you look at my profile picture? Oh, I totally forgot. I don't know. I'll go with the joke. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to know. It's kind of an average picture, but I'm kind of hungry for pictures. You got great pictures. I don't know why you would say that. You got, you're like very photogenic. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm not photogenic. I just choose them carefully. <laughs> nah, you're pretty. Thank you. You are just so attractive. I'm getting used to myself, I guess, in front of the camera. Uh, you are. No, seriously, Dan. Like, I've never seen you look bad in my life. Yes, you have. When I have no. puffy eyes and have cried off all my makeup. You don't look bad then either. You just look miserable. But you look hot, so. <laughs> that is funny that you say that. Thank you. It's true. But think, about, think about it. Like, how I'd like, think about this. There's been many times where you've been, like, miserable and I've, like, raped you. That's true. We've so. had lots of makeup time. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> but it's a good way for us to de stress. Yeah, it's true. We've uh we've we've done that in the uh middle of uh like when we were just pissed at each other. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Well, like, it was like my, I thought, our only way out, you know? Yeah, there was one time, I remember. I think, I, I kind of vaguely remember. I mean, I don't keep track of it. There's, there's, there's been so many, but, I mean, there was a time when we were just like, I don't even know who initiated it. I think you did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Other times we've been, like, so discouraged with each other <laughs> that I didn't think it, like, freaking... We could have been injected with aphrodisiacs. It wouldn't have worked. Well, it, it, it kind of puts things in perspective a little more because you get your mind gets off for a while, and when you do come back to the problem, like, ah, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah. But certainly the best times are when we just go for a freaking wrong session. Just like go forever. You're you're not joking. I mean, like, like there are times when when we just I can't. I'm trying to think of an example. There have been a few times where I've been bold enough to just pull you onto the bed and start. And oh my gosh, you remember that time I came to visit you when I was still living in California, and I fell asleep on your chair next to your bed. And you just, like, woke me up by pulling my pants off and totally licking my pussy. Yeah. I was so embarrassed because I just, like, got my Brazilian on, and I was, like, worried about what it looked like. And I was like, ah, and the lights were bright, and they were on. I was all self-conscious. <laughs> but I remember that was hot. I was, like, I was totally tired, and I was asleep. And I would have been completely content just cuddling with you once we got into bed, but... <laughs> You had another agenda. Uh, 
Huh? You got to admit, though, like, there's not many guys that do that. It's just on, like, you know, like that. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know what the ratio is, but I get the impression that they're... I mean, it's kind of an awkward subject to bring up, but, you know, eventually we're both going to remarry people, and I just get the feeling that there aren't a lot of Mormon guys like that. And there may or may not... I'm sure there are plenty of freaky Mormon girls, but are they the marrying type? I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm just saying, are they the type that you'd want to marry or are the guys out there the type that I'd want to marry? And, and I don't know. Like, I really would like to marry some um, a return missionary, but like you, someone who can be freaky... Like, I just worry about that. There are plenty of nice people out there, but like, uh, I worry that I might feel like a wilting flower is all, who never really blossomed to her full potential, at least in the sexual realm. I feel like I have with you, but like I still have plenty of blossom time left, and I want to live all those years being that way. I don't know. Yeah. That's all. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to enjoy uh, your blossom and make them up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tie you to a tree and put it in your ass, by the way. What's that? I'm going to tie you to a tree and put it in your ass, by the way. Oh, my gosh. That is so debasing. I like it. <laughs> Does it, does it tie your arms around the tree, blindfold you, and uh, put the picture, the camera on a timer while I'm parking it? Oh my gosh. You are full of ideas. It takes creativity to top ourselves. I know it does. Uh, we've gotten way creative in the past. I can give you most of the credit, though, as far as the creativity ideas go. I'm game for, like, almost everything you come up with. Um, but you really are a wellspring of ideas. You are, like, quite the source. <laughs> I mean, just think of how, how I counted you with a full six-year-old pop until it was nothing. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's crazy, <laughs> And your ass and pussy were tasty. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You put it all over me. And then licked it yeah. off. I did. It was fun. And then, yeah, we had fun. Pop rock. Uh -huh. I, I, didn't, I didn't like the pop rock as much as I liked the pussy real pop, though. Yeah. Yeah, they were interesting. You know, we were both messy, but pop rock got all over the place. You know what I really liked is when we were in the bath with the candles and I had the braid. Mm -hmm. Her bubbles. That's on top of. Oh, I love the braids. I know those are hot. I know. I like it. I I don't know. There's just. It is fun. <laughs> I want you to do that more. I don't want you to get more. All right, I'll both see you. I can just ride my freaking face. Get a horse. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. You got me 69 picks, too. 69 picks? Yeah. How will we do that? Set timer. Oh, yeah. You're smart. And, uh, I'm going to get some great shots of freaking put that in you. Like, the actual putting it in you and, like, the reaction and just the angles and the, the whole bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right, though, that in the bath. Oh, God. Oh, when we took a bath together? Uh -huh. That was that was surreal, like honestly. And I think I mean maybe the candlelight and the bubbles all had something to do with it. But you were amazing. You made me seriously. You made me feel like a goddess. Like I wasn't saying you were like worshiping me, but you were. You made me feel like I was 
the most freaking beautiful woman on the whole planet. Like, I, I so felt like I was the goddess. <laughs> and so, aside from all those warm, fuzzy feelings, but, like, it, it was it was so sexy, and it was so hot, and, oh, gosh. Oh, I know that. That wasn't hard to make you feel that way, because you were freaking, you, you were hot. It, it, you were, you are. Seriously, I don't want to force you right now, so that, because I'm touching yourself. I am already. <laughs> I just started. <sighs> I wish those were my hands, giving you a hand job. Honey, so you know, like, before I met you, I never checked up. But once I start, once uh, I started meeting you, I don't know, like once a month, once every two weeks, like, since you've left, I check up every day, sometimes two, three times a day. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, it's always just a fucking hell. Oh, you're calling me right now. I wish you were here. If you were here, my grandparents were asleep, I'd let you ride in my bedroom, we'd shut them with the door, and we would just have a big fuck fit. You'd go at it all night. Oh, let's do it, baby. I'm gonna be there anyway. I'm ready to come. Oh, don't worry. Oh, I'm going to come. I want you to come around, but I'm going to come when she comes. I might come here. Oh. Wait, I'm squeaking. I love you now. I can't wait to get pictures of Jizzle on your face. <laughs> That's gonna be cool, actually. Gonna be I'll try to get one as I'm coming on your face. You know? Yeah, definitely. Like mid shot. Uh huh. <sighs> you make me so horny. I seriously think about having sex with you every day. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I think they found to be a little ferocious and that's not so cool. <laughs> uh, but like, and then you get all these great pictures of a you know, quality camera and like a setting that's, you know, perfect. I mean, it could be like legitimate porn. Yeah. In every sense, you know what I mean? And you're gonna have that yourself, like, ah, uh, I think I'm gonna come soon, honey. Let me tell you what I was thinking about today. All right, but if I come, don't come yet, okay? Because then I'll come two times, you can come a second time. Yeah. Like, like everything about, like, the details of your body is so hot. Yeah. Like those big, freaking nipples. They're just like, it's just like, it just accentuates how female you are and how hot you are. Like, like you're this prototype of sweatiness. Like you're this prototype. You made this freaking fuck. And then, most of all, oh, I love it, is, is how much detail your pussy has. And big really? I like oh, the, the things, because I've always been self-conscious about those things, and you make me feel like... It, it makes you like a super woman. <laughs> it's it, it just like, it's all, like, they're feminine because they have boobs and they have a clit and stuff. You're ultra feminine because you have freaking clit. So, right now. Oh, 
funny as a tree. T agony is like they feel dead you know, the pressure for him. I think since we're gonna do the porn star thing, I'm gonna put on a little extra makeup. More than I know. Yeah. Well, whatever you want, maybe.
Superhuman. Well, just like, uh, you know, your anatomy is accentuated by, uh, by, uh, you know, what what does that for a man is obviously a factor of their, how much shit they produce. And, uh, seriously, I could, uh, if I was in a sperm bank, I could retire off this load. <laughs> <laughs> wow, go clean up. Come on, wait. Sexy hey there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Even have a sexy yawn. <laughs> <laughs> Do my legs sweat when I'm in that state? That's hot. That's hot because then when you sweat like that and I'm on top of you, I slip slide all over. Look, <laughs> get our sweat on. You like make like I don't break a sweat often. Like I've got, I've been running since I've been here, and. uh not real consistently, but like twice a week, just to get my heart rate, you know, strong. And 
I don't even break a sweat, and I run a little bit further every time to a point where it hurts. Like, I'm, high, I'm, I'm breathing hard, and, like, my tongue hurts. I have to spit because I can't even swallow. It just hurts. Like, I, I push myself. But I don't break a sweat. <laughs> I mean, I do. But with you, when you and I do stuff, like, sometimes I get so sweaty, like, my back is just drenched, and my whole body is drenched, and my hair. And just, I just, I really exert myself. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's a calorie burner. I'm about to die. What's that? Oh, I said that's a calorie burner. I'm about to die. No kidding. No. Um, I can just say, oh, you introduced me to KY. Did you know that? I introduced you to KY? I'd never, I've heard of it, obviously, but I've never used it. <laughs> You know, I had never used it uh, until, and I'd always heard of it until one day I just thought, because it's so cliched and people make fun of it and, you know, but it's great stuff. No, it's awesome. There's nothing else. Did you There's eat that snow? No, 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 no. I didn't eat freaking Vaseline. Oh, does Vaseline work? It seems so thick. Oh, no, it works. She's got it. Oh, you mean the lotion? Yeah, no, it is the day. Oh. Mm -hmm. It works well. But it's, it doesn't work in a little KY. Yeah. And KY is the yeah. one for that that's, like, good for you. I don't mean, like, it's beneficial, but it's better. It's the best thing for you because it's designed specifically for that purpose. It's best for your skin. It's, it's okay to go on the inside and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, the other stuff is really nothing to really like it on the inside. Uh, well, like I used baby oil in the past, but it's, it, it doesn't hurt, but it's not the best thing because it's mineral oil, you know? And it goes away quickly. The body absorbs it. Okay, well, you just keep spreading it on as you need it, and you keep flip sliding around. <laughs> Remember the first time that you and I grinded um, at, at Ehrenberg, and we both, like, I ended up just coming, and you're like, whoa, I came. You came at the same time. I looked around, and there was just jizz, like, all over. It was so hot. <laughs> we came together. That was so cool. Oh, Ehrenberg. Yeah. I think about that when you drive through there. Oh, yeah. Always. So do I. This last time, though, I didn't even notice it. Like, I must have been... Not like I just didn't notice it. Like all of a sudden, I'm in black. I know I've I've done that once or twice too. Where it's like, oh, I missed the flying J. It's kind of <laughs> the signature landmark. <laughs> yeah. No, it is though. Like, that was a good time. We just chilled in this freaking hellhole of a place. It it wasn't even that bad because we had each other's company. Yeah, it, it's fun. Actually, you know. Yeah, it was. You were bored, you know, but we were at each other, you know. We watched Deal or No Deal for a little bit, and we burned CDs, and you told me some things, some cool things about the Book of Mormon. Um, yeah, we watched some stupid movie. What movie did we watch? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, do. Oh, I liked that. You hated it. Oh, I liked it so much. I didn't like the whole drug thing, but they, but she was, she was drugged out of her, outside of her will, but she played a freaking good crack at it after that. But, um, what I, what I, the reason I like that so much, I think is because Robin Williams was in it. He's a, he's a favorite of mine. Plus what else was playing? Like nothing good was on. <laughs> Have you seen Iron Man? Yeah. How is it? As far as the superhero movies go, it's good. What's that? As far as superhero movies go, it's really good. Huh. Like, I, I'm not a huge fan of superhero movies, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I like, I love x like, Yeah, oh, wow. Did we say that at the same time? Yeah. That's trippy. That's a great, those are great movies, though. 
Yeah, they're the best. I'm actually not a big fan of Spider-Man. Yeah, I like, uh, like the storyline, but I don't like sitting through all the movie. Remember you made fun of me when I was crying when his best friend died? I was yeah. sad that you made fun of me because I got into the actual story. I was like, he's so insensitive. <laughs> like Spider-Man, though. Yeah, I know, yeah. but I didn't see it as bad. I saw it as a, a like a love story and a story between. Like what what really jerked me was the way they had become friends. They were best friends that were enemies that that finally they understood why they hated each other, and so there was no reason for it anymore. But then he died, so I didn't get to enjoy the fruit of that discovery, which would have been the mending of their friendship. <laughs> anyway. Uh. <laughs> okay, go on. And then, uh, yeah, I don't like the Spider-Man, but I don't like the Supermans. Uh, I'm not, I don't like the Fantastic Fours, except for looking at Jessica Alba. Oh. Uh, I'm, uh, well, you like the X-Men, X-Men are getting right. So we'll give it that. Batman's okay. The next one's my favorite. I like freaking Batman. My favorite one is Batman Forever. Wait. Batman Returns? Yeah, Batman Returns, which has the Riddler played by none other than Jim Carrey and Two Face by Tommy Jones. And it's got big names. It's got Nicole Kidman. Who's will be this? It'll be that. Who's brave the big black bat? <laughs> Drew Barrymore. And who else? Is she in that? She's in uh, Two Face. She's in Batman Forever. I mean, Return. There's Drew Barrymore, Jim Carrey, Val Kilmer, Nicole Kidman, Tommy Lee Jones. Those are five huge names, and there may be others. That was Val Kilmer. Silver. Val Kilmer played Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, yeah, first it was Michael Keaton, then it was Val Kilmer. Uh huh. Then it was George Clooney. He played. No way. He played Bruce Wayne. Yeah. In which one? You want to know? He was that one. Dude, I gotta watch that. That's cool that we Christian Bale. <laughs> I'll tell you what would be a good one. The Green Hornet. The Green Hornet? Yeah. I don't know that. Not a superhero at all. A man that's like... It's a trip. A great heart. It's a long, strange trip. It is. Living on the end, not in the sea, and cold cage. All a friend could say is they're going to change. You know where I really want to go. I like it when you see Vermont. Vermont's awesome. Who? Vermont. I want to go visit Vermont. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful state. So it's I think I'm going to go like, you know, to New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Trail, Florida, Well, what are you going to do when you go to D.C.? Uh, Other than D.C. stuff. D.C. Yeah. If I can go, I'm going to go. Is it the Rolling on a River song that you're singing? No, it's
They're serious to everyone here in Chicago. Not joking. Somebody says you sing to me, and I'm like, I've never heard it. And you're like, what? <laughs> My great old dad is one of the most famous and amazing men of all time, yeah. It's true, and I've never really listened to them, I guess. I don't really look like the music, but I love trucking. <laughs> Did I tell you I sang the song Hurt in karaoke? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Do you know that song? I don't know, maybe. Um, it, Nine Inch Nails originally made the song, and then Johnny Cash. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard myself today. Yeah, you did tell me that. But I spoke me. That's Johnny Cash version. Yeah. It's the soft version. I put my girly voice into it, and it was really good. It's funny. <laughs> I'm nervous about singing the national anthem. on my profile on MySpace right now. It's called Clumsy by Fergie. It's the... D oh, I know. Huh? I've heard it on your profile. I know, but... And I know it's been one of those songs that you just would get sick of hearing. But it's just got this fun, funky beat. <laughs> and I like the part when she goes, and it's so freaking cheap. It is cheese puff as they get. But it's just cute. And she goes, you know, this ain't the first time where I've been like something about this love sick thing. And she goes, uh, I'm the kind of girl that likes to be in a serious relationship and uh, every time my boyfriend breaks up with me, <laughs> my world is crushed and I'm all alone. I like it with that part. Is, like I was hearing that, I was like, this is freaking cheesy. But then she goes, the love bug uh, jumps right up and bites me and I'm back. <laughs> freaking cute. Can't help it. The girl can't help it. <laughs> I like when she goes, the love bug jumps right back up and bites me. And I'm back. <laughs> She's a... got weird music. She's what? She got weird music. Yeah, she does. She's funky. I like that. She's original, which is good. We always like funky, fresh originality. I always think I like that... it better with Black Eyed Peas, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have, I'm not even... I don't know a lot of her music too much. Uh, as a single artist. In fact, I don't know Black Eyed Peas music too much. I just know that I like her. Running, 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 running,
Dutchman. Okay. Let's get it started off. Let's get it started in here. She's the one off the rectum, off the rectum, off the rectum, off the rectum. That's cool. I didn't like the hump song. Well, I hate that song. Not hump, it's not hump. I thought it was hilarious the way Alanis Morissette made fun of her. My house. My house. My lovely lady love. What I don't realize is, is like, Alanis Morissette, like, okay, obviously she's making fun of herself. Is she making fun of herself, too, by the way, weird way she sings everything? Or is she being serious on that part? Uh, the weird way she sings, sings things is kind of like her signature. Just like she I know, but her own weird way of seeing things. When I first heard I know, but like, it's just like sometimes it's like too much. Yeah. It's a little bit like exaggerated. And she kind of has that long face and those big like almost Steven Tyler kind of lips. Yeah. And so it exaggerates it. Like have you ever watched her sing the song? Um, uh... You've already won me over. Oh, head over her feet. Finally, so don't be alone. I fall. Oh, head over her feet. feet. And don't, don't be surprised if I love you. For all that you are. I got the good head over your head. You just throw your Wow. Answer that video. Yeah. Some of her singing into the camera, and she kind of has her own like her lips move in a way, and her mouth and her tongue, it's like all her own. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, she just does that. You are the best, and I'm gonna let you know things. You, you have, have your, your breath, breath. <laughs> and the door for me. Thanks for your patience. Uh, she does her own harmonica. Trippy. Yeah. Should she should talk. You know what's funny is on the radio they played a song once. It was the radio host was like, you know, X amount of dollars to whoever can you know, tenth caller whoever can guess who this is kind of thing. And it was somebody singing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. It was like a ballad and the end was like, Happy birthday to you or something and it was freaking Alanis Morissette like some early recording of her singing for her friend and it's and once you realize it was her it's like oh yeah that's totally her voice and she even then she kind of had that her own style <laughs> it was funny was it good or it was good it was good it wasn't studio but you could tell it was her voice after she was a hit in Canada before she ever made it down here oh really just, like, Shakira was huge in Colombia before she, and in most of the Hispanic world before she made it in the U.S. You know that she dated Dave Gouillet. Who is that? He's Joey on Full House. Joey? It's Joey. It's the other goofy one. Oh, uh, the white boy? Yeah. Yeah. They're all white. Shakira dated him? No, I was more set. Oh, I didn't know that. When? Uh, before the You Ought to Know song, because the You Ought to Know song is about him. Shut up. How do you forget yeah. know that? I was at my homework. <laughs> Angela and I were just thinking about the other day. And every time I scratch my nail down from one else's back, I hope you feel it. Well, can you feel it? <laughs> you know that song? Yeah, that song is a super hit. Yeah, it came out as a big hit right at about the time I moved to Warwicka. I remember watching it on MTV. Well, I'm here to remind Oh, I fast forward the part because it says, are you thinking of me when you ask for a right? And I was like, I fast forwarded that part so Angela wouldn't hear. But she she heard the part where it's, and she didn't know the difference because she doesn't know that song too well. It's not one of her, you know, high school hits, for example. But she heard the part when she's like, 
would she go down on you in a theater? I looked at Angela when she said that, and she starts laughing. She's like, what? It's, what's cute about Angela is she's freaking messed up. She doesn't even know, like, right from wrong lately. But she see, she's still so innocent. I think she's just stupid. <laughs> I love the girl. She's my sister. But I honestly think she's a little bit dumb. But I love her. Oh, bless your heart. I love her. My yeah, speak better than that my deep, sleepy, sexy voice. It makes me want to cuddle with you. Uh -huh. Sorry, I was getting tired. I can tell. Because then you start to slur your words. And you kind of quiet in those long pauses. <laughs> like that one. <laughs> You're cute, hon. I'm cute. Yes, you are to take a recess at this time. Please be back in the designated area at 10 minutes till 3, and we'll start promptly at that time. Please remember the admonition. You have to okay, what did you say? Jerry has left the courtroom. You may be seated. Ms. Arias, you may take your seat.